Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? Squeaky chair. I'm so excited about this upcoming video that I've got for you. Um, I get to show you a little bit of cooking in my kitchen and it is a German dish and I'm going to tell you more about that following uh, this. I am so honored again to be um, having my channel sponsored by Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. This is number three and I'm just so excited for it because not only does it go perfectly with the video that I'm going to be showing you with some German cooking, but also because, as I've mentioned before, we have an upcoming trip to Germany this spring and I need brushing up on my German. One of the things that I am working on that I didn't realize I was in such need of correction was my using the formal and informal ways of speaking with people. I have always deferred to being informal and I didn't know that wasn't really correct. And so this time around, what I'm really working on is the formal because it's a thing there in Germany. It's a thing. And for my German speaking friends, you know what I mean. If you're dealing with a realtor or somebody you're um, in a business meeting that you first meet, you don't just say, hello, the gates, but that's what I was doing. Um, or choose, goodbye, you know, see ya, choose. Instead, you know, there's the formal Auf Wiedersehen or the formal introductions. So I'm glad that I'm working on being a little more appropriate. I still have lots of um, <laughs> words to learn and, you know, but I'm not afraid to bumble through and try. And that's what I'm known for. But anyway, what I love about this app is I've gotten a questionnaire about where my learning is, how much do I need to learn? And so it's come up with a program for me to study by. And so it's three or four times a week and I just take my phone and start in. So it's quiz time right now. And I think I'm on like level five or six. So here we go, Los Gates. Los geht's. Los geht's. Here we go. So we're going to be working with the informal. And for me, knowing what is informal is, is very important. So I'm Freddy. Ich, ich bin, bin Freddy. Freddy. I'm good. Mir geht's gut. Mir geht's gut. My name is Robinson. That's a little more formal because it's the last name. Meine Name ist Robinson. My Name ist Robinson. How are you in the formal sense? Wie geht es Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? Wie geht es Ihnen? Not just the easy, hey, wie geht's? Guten Tag, Herr Müller. Guten Tag, Frau Sommer. Wie geht es Ihnen? Mir geht es gut. Danke. So, it's asking me, is that formal or is it informal? That's formal. Hallo, Tim. Wie geht's dir? Mir geht's gut. Und dir? That. Auch gut. Danke. That is informal. So, for me personally, just learning those nuances is so important. Now, 
The cool thing about Babbel is they're using real world conversations to learn from, and it is created by real language teachers. So um, that's what's helping me and many others, and some of you have told me your stories about that. So you can start speaking a language in three weeks and with a 20-day money-back guarantee, there's no risk. Click on the link not only in the description, but also in the pinned comment for a 60% off your subscription. I am so grateful to Babbel for once again sponsoring my channel and supporting my channel. And I'm excited about this because I have something real world coming up. So do you have any trips to be taking in 2023? I'd love to hear. And what are your thoughts about learning the language of that place you're going to? Let me know about that as well. So here are the ingredients, a German bologna, not Leoner, but this is a good substitute. And we've got eggs and spices like paprika, salt and pepper, nutmeg, olive oil, leek, heavy cream, gouda, and some onion and chopped pancetta. And I'll line a springform pan with puff pastry. So I'm going to cut up this, which isn't exactly Leoner, but it's all I could find. I'm making some pretty thick chunks. I've got Jack Johnson on in the background, so sometimes you can catch some of my cool dance moves. Okay, I've got the meat cut up. Okay. Um, okay, are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so go ahead and just, see this is all dirty inside, so it has to be washed yeah, like, okay, yeah, go ahead and rinse all that. And then I'll get this started with the bacon. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Now just not nice and little. Yeah, perfect. Poison. Poison. I love the smell of it. Do you? Yeah, kind of fresh, you know. Here, you want to finish cutting this and just dice it up just like that. Let me throw this away. Okay, I'm going to start cooking this. Wolfie and Rosie would enjoy. Yeah. 
Onions getting to yeah. you. <laughs> That's why I gave you that job. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm gonna join. Um, what, what? No, Apollo. Apollo. Meow. That's good. You can get that cheese and open it, and then you can grate it over here. Yes, here, let me take, here you can have this right here, and grate it, and we need about, cheese for about five and a half, six ounces. How many is in here? Eight. So do almost all of it. Do it all. Okay. You can never have too much cheese, right? Now I'm going to line the spring form pan with some parchment paper after spraying it with some non-stick pan. Okay, what is your favorite meal? If you could have anything you wanted made for you, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Um, anything, any ethnic food, any region, what would it be? Wiener schnitzel would be up there. Schnitzel, yeah, yeah, I uh, agree. Uh, yeah, I mean. We're schnitzel fiends in this house. And a broad. really good salmon dish. Salmon. I like salmon Wellington. Salmon what? Wellington, when it's in I don't puff. Know how that's hmm, puff. It's in puff pastry, and it's got like, um, what do you call it? Um, spinach and a cheese, Ooh. and oh yeah, it's really good. I'll have to make some. It's made it a lot for um, dinner parties. Because it's easy, yeah, and it tastes good, and everybody likes it. Yeah, and puff pastry. Gosh, you could wrap anything, a in shoe puff in puff pastry, yeah. and it's good. a puff pastry lined dish. Ah, <laughs> I'm getting stabbed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Leoner Kuchen. My mom is a one task person, maybe two. So I got her, <clears throat> and she did three things. She did the cheese, the leek, and the onion. And then she just kind of wanders off. <laughs> That's okay. I like that she has a sense of contribution. This is looking so good. And smelling so good. I've added the onions and the leeks. I'm gonna put this into a bigger bowl. because I'm going to add all the meat and cheese into there when it cools. Watch for the Elon Musk dance move here. So salt, pepper, As you can see, I don't measure specific amounts. I just eyeball it based on experience. And nutmeg. <clears throat> my spices in these magnetic squares and then on that magnetic board they're uneven right now but it keeps them out of a cupboard I'm guessing about half a teaspoon um, it keeps them out of a cupboard and off the counters so maybe yeah just a pinch more there we go Yummy. And now I'm going to put this beautiful mixture into the puff pastry lined springform pan. Mm. Now, look at this. I know it 
it's hard to see. And so this is going to go into an oven <clears throat> for about 40, 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 390, 395 to 400, depending on your oven Fahrenheit. So here we go. And here are the ingredients for the salad dressing. Honey, some Dijon mustard, balsamic, and olive oil. And here it is, almost done. A few minutes longer, and this is the finished product. After it's cooled, it settles a little bit. The salad is all ready, and we're ready to plate up and enjoy our dinner. Thank you, Kirsten and Jorg, for this fantastic cooking inspiration. Leonor Kuchen. Easy and delicious. <laughs>